What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today y'all, we are going to be doing a little story time while we play in some makeup. Past couple weeks, I've been in a little situation. <laughs> And I kind of just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on, uh, laugh a little bit, you know, joke a little bit, but kind of also bring it to a revelation type of ending. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is made in partnership with Elf Cosmetics, so thank you to them for sponsoring us today. And I am gonna be showing you guys the new Electric Mood Collection from Elf. This collection has brows, eyes, skin, primer, blush, <laughs> Just a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna play in that today and we're gonna talk. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, y'all, let's hop into this look and this girl chat. <laughs> All right, my loves. So y'all, today we are going to be playing in some makeup. I'm gonna give y'all the tea. We're gonna get into the story time and the uh, craziness but y'all already know that i can't talk when i'm doing my eyes so we're gonna knock the eyes out first <laughs> the star of today's video is going to be the electric mood collection from elf thank you to elf for sponsoring today's video and y'all we got all types of products to play in today so i'm super 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 excited this electric mood collection has literally everything and you guys i'm sure Unless you live in Under a Rock, then you know all about e.l.f., which is a brand that I absolutely love. And the brand is all about looking good and feeling good. So e.l.f.'s products are 100% vegan, and they're all about, you know, being super extra without having to pay extra. So they're super affordable. And anytime that I use e.l.f., I already know that their products are super, super high quality, sis. Um, I'm sure you guys have dipped and dabbled in e.l.f. before, so this ain't nothing new to the girls. <laughs> <laughs> but we love elf over here on the channel so we are actually gonna start with the brows because in this collection they did come out with an eye duo one of them is like a universal glitter for the eyes which we're not gonna use today because we are gonna do a little something different on the eyes we're gonna use the palette and but it did also come with a brow bar which is for the feathery brows and that's what we're gonna do today this also came with a brush with a spoolie on one end and then like an eyeshadow flat brush on the other side so I'm just gonna take this spoolie and go into this brow bar and I'm just gonna fluff my brows up y'all essentially this is just helping us to create those feathery like the soap brow trend which y'all know I had gotten a kick out of for a while there <laughs> and we're essentially just laminating those brow hairs up and then I'm gonna take my precisely my brow from benefit to fill them in I would definitely have to say I've been really loving and trying to get more into like the fluffier brow look like the more natural brow y'all know when you just love something you just can't let it go and my sculpted brows that's it for me <laughs> You guys have seen me sculpt my brows out a lot. So I'm actually gonna take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to use it to sculpt out the bottom. So I wanna try to use as many of these products today as possible that's in this collection so you guys can see kind of everything that they have. Um, so before we hop into the eyes, they did come out with this glassy skin balm. And so these are for my ladies who, you know, if y'all wanna get like that glass skin, you know how you do your skincare and your skin be looking real like shiny and pretty like, <laughs> so like this, gives you that without all of that you know but it's pretty much just like a balm that you just go into and you can like add to the skin to give you like that glass skin type of look so we're just adding this on the face it's kind of like an illuminator highlighter situation so you kind of just want to add it to the high points of the face i don't know if i've ever seen a product that does this and i thought that was really really cute so i just wanted to put it on before we <laughs> So at least y'all can get the effect of it while we doing the eyes, you know what I'm saying. Today we're gonna be using the Electric Mood Palette and this is in collaboration with Tiana Major 9. Um, they also came out with a brush and sponge set as well and we're gonna be using this today. We have three different brushes that came with this set and then we also have a sponge that came with it as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one off camera because y'all know how I get like, I get indecisive when we doing it together. So <laughs> I'll be back. Your girl done got back to her roots, y'all, with this look. I'm just saying. Yeah. First, we're gonna take the fluffy, obviously it's dirty now because I just did this eye, but anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to dip into the shade Braided Tresses, which is right here. And I'm going to use this brush to just kind of start to dust this 
in the corners and above my lid. You guys know e.l.f. eyeshadows are amazing. They blend out so beautifully and they're really, really high quality for an amazing price. So ain't nothing new there. I'm just using circular motions just to kind of dust this shade all the way around. And I am kind of bringing this outwards because I am going to layer a deeper shade on top of this, but I want this to kind of, I want the deeper shade to kind of, you know, fade into this one. Next, I'm keeping with this brush and I'm dipping into brown, browning bruni, which is right here. I'm gonna use this kind of, like I said, as a deeper shade to layer on top of that one. So that it's kind of like an ombre type of situation, but I'm focusing this one more like right above the lid and in the corner. But I'm not taking this one as far out as that other one so that we get kind of like that ombre situation. Lastly, for the lid, we're taking the brush that's a little bit more you know, focus, and I'm dipping into this shade Heart of Man, and I'm gonna focus this shade right on the outer corner and above the lid area. Oh Lord, hold up, let's fix that. Cause that went up a little higher than I wanted it to, but just a little diffusing can help with that. And you might have to just go back and forth with the other brush just to make sure it's not going too, too far out. We don't want that black shade to do the most, sis. We don't want it to do the most. And with this being like an electric mood, like electric type of vibe, like I really wanted to do an, an eye that was a little dramatic. Since it's been a while, girl, we be doing the natural stuff all the time. We need a little different today. Y'all, we're cutting the crease today. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of my eyeshadow base and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease. I do have a detailed video all about how to cut the crease on my channel. Make sure you guys do check that out if you have not yet. So where I kind of tapered off on this side, I do want to go back in with this brush with the deeper shade in it, that black shade, and just make sure that's nicely blended on the edge. And the first color that we are going to go into on the lid is going to be Summer Fruit, which is this deeper purple. And I'm just gonna blend that into the black shade. And this is gonna really act as a transition between the shimmer shades and the matte crease. Next, we're going into shade right under that, and this is Pink Shift. We're gonna use that right next to Summer Fruit. And last but not least, we're going into the shade Pound Coin right here, which really, oh girl. In the pan, it looks rose gold, but when you put it on the eye, it gives like this iridescent green type of vibe and it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm taking this and I'm hovering it over the purple shimmer shade and just blending it out over it. Oh girl, wait till we get some lashes on, the, on this eye. This is about to be fire. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eye, throw on some mascara and pop on the lashes. And the lashes we're using today are from Lily Lashes and this is in Miami Light. It's full, full glam today, sis. Full, full glam. <laughs> so this collection does have um, a couple other eye products, which I feel like one of them we might use for the under eye once we get to that point. There are shadow crayons and they have them in two different shades. There's just a lot of products in this <laughs> collection, y'all. So we're gonna be using them throughout, but one other product we're gonna use really quick before we get to the face and start talking our face off. <laughs> we are going to use this Electric Mood by Tiana Major 9. This is the Illuminating Elixir. It's a priming serum. And we're gonna use this to prime the face. It is illuminating, so it is gonna give us an illuminating feel to the skin once we rub it in. But it's just gonna add that bit of illuminating this, if that's a word, y'all know I like to make up words. <laughs> Underneath our complexion products. So we are going to continue to use the collection throughout the tutorial, but real quick, I do have magic links in the description box for you guys to check out every single e.l.f. Electric Mood collection product that we use today in the description box. So make sure you guys do click down there to purchase these products. And thank you again to e.l.f. for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all, let's talk. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Tom Edo all over concealer. And this is in 495 Suede Warm. I'm gonna use this to like conceal my face, just like in the areas where I feel like I need it. I've been suffering from some redness and some dark spots and stuff like that. So I kind of just wanna cover those things up before we even go in with foundation today. But uh, yeah, y'all, we got some stuff we need to talk about. <laughs> I just changed my lighting up. So yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. For some reason, it's being stupid today, so. Do you guys remember on my last vlog when I said I went, sh well, I was going shopping and I was asking you guys about dipping back into like an old situation or an old relationship? Well, let's just say I did that a little bit and 
I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> I should not have done that, sis. I should not have done it. The situation is over now, so y'all know I'ma share it with you and you know, give you a little bit of some tea, but. <laughs> this was a guy that I was talking to literally like right before um, I got with my ex. So I got with my ex um, in 2016 and like nine months leading up to that, I was talking to this guy and so, ended up stopped talking to him because he ain't wanna commit, whatever. And so I got with my man, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of that. You know, he was heartbroken. We were kind of in love at the time. And, but you know, you was playing. I moved on. You snooze, you lose in this world. Okay, ain't nobody about to be sitting around waiting for you. That is how that ended. Um, he let me know that, you know, about six months after that, he sent me a message on Facebook saying he still loved me and that if I need someone to talk to and I'm happy you found somebody and, you know, I was scared to commit. It was a mistake. You know, you're the one that got away, that whole type of vibe, okay? And we are gonna be using the Tom Edo foundation. I just kind of want to use both of these today because we going full glam apparently y'all and the shade that I'm using is 510 suede cool but yeah a few weeks ago I ended up texting this person um I texted him and we got back in contact he was a little shocked because he was like I could have sworn you were somewhere married to somebody by now like ain't no way you out here available <laughs> I regret reaching out to him now but Girl, y'all, this man, girl, look. I just don't have no issue with sharing this right now. Let's just say that. That's a problem all in itself. <laughs> and I'm actually mixing this with my NARS Macau too. So long story short, I texted him and we started back talking. We went on a couple of dates and it low key felt like we were just picking up where we left off. Like that is exactly how I felt. Like we were picking up where we left off. It was like a romantic connection. And y'all, this is within the past two weeks, okay? <laughs> And I felt like, you know, yeah, this is cool. You know, we'll see. Um, I was not praying about it as much as I probably, that I feel like I should have been praying about it. But your girl was, was low key falling back in love. <laughs> I didn't call a meeting with my girlfriends. Like, sis, we gotta meet up, have some drinks, talk about this, what's going on. And y'all look, I don't be liking people. I really don't. I don't be liking these dudes. Only because like, <laughs> I, I'm just very picky about my time, who I spend my time with, what I'm doing. Like, I'm very, 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 very picky. And y'all, we're looking slightly orange right now. Don't worry about it. We about, we gonna fix that with concealer. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and dip into my camo concealer. And we're still using the e.l.f. sponge for this, which I am already really falling in love with. I'm loving how soft it is and how it really, oh, yeah. I'm loving how it really blends out everything. It's super duper soft and it is damp as well. That might be all the concealer we need. Okay, sponge. I love that. But yeah, y'all, I'm picky about who I like and I haven't liked somebody, I don't think that much since him. Like I was like head over heels. Oh my God, I can't wait for him to text me. Ooh, ooh. you know, like girl. And Maya don't get like that. I wouldn't even like that about my ex <laughs> that I was with for three and a half years. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I was feeling it and I was excited and everything. And then I started to notice over the couple next couple days that he was being extremely wishy-washy, like super wishy-washy with me. Like when we're together, you're telling me all these great things. I'm so happy you're back in my life. I can't believe all of these amazing things to make me think, hey, we're restarting something that once upon a time was really, really great. But when we were not together, we're not hanging out, there was barely no cause, you know what I'm saying? There was no text, how you doing? And I wasn't basing it on expectations of anyone else. It was based on how he used to be with me. Yes, you could have changed in the past five years, but that's basics. A man that's interested in you is going to be reaching out to you, who's going to be sending you the good mornings, beautifuls, you know, going to be calling you and seeing how your day is. And I wasn't getting none of that. So I told my friends, I'm like, girl, I <laughs> what's going on right now <laughs> like I legit do not know what is going on with this man because he is saying one thing and doing another and I am gonna use my Fenty Beauty matchstick in espresso to kind of contour us today but yeah y'all this became an issue and I'm just like okay what is going on and so um this Friday came and y'all this man 
I wish I text him. He hadn't texted me all day. <laughs> so I text him, I was like, what's up? And at this time I'm already feeling uneasy. I feel like God is putting into my spirit that this ain't it, but I ain't been feeling this way about nobody. So I'm thinking, okay, Lord, is this a sign? Or is this just, you know, somebody else throwing a distraction in my way, which we gonna get to in a minute. But I text him, what's up? He didn't respond um, about 30 minutes later because I'm the type of person that I don't like to play games, y'all. I feel like with the get dating game, sometimes you do gotta play these games, which sucks, but I'm a grown woman. If I text you and then I wanna call you about something, I'm gonna do that. I'm not just gonna not do it because the game says don't look thirsty. Like, <laughs> I don't care about that kind of stuff. Um, so I called him about 30 minutes later because I had something to tell him and uh, let's just say it went straight to voicemail and then let's say the next text did not deliver. Y'all this man blocked me. <laughs> this man blocked me. Me. <laughs> and I'm like boy what? And so anyway um, at this point I'm having a whole little panic attack because I'm like okay uh, well girls come on we need another meeting so the next day i was with my girlfriends and of course as women what we do because i'm gonna make sure that you block me before i accuse you and i had my girlfriends you know calling and texting and theirs was you know sliding on through and no problem there right but for me things were just not going through. So I'm thinking to myself, what in the world? You in here, what you lying to me and you telling me all of these things, but obviously there's something that you're not telling me. And this man did not used to be a liar. He did not used to be a horrible person, like none of that stuff. Like, so I'm shocked at this point. And another reason I'm sharing this y'all, cause he's never gonna see this video. He also was not showing much interest at all in what I do for a living, which was another red flag. <laughs> Um, for me, I don't know what that was about, but he ain't never gonna see this. And I, I don't know anybody who knows him besides my friends. So I would never get on here and bash somebody. <laughs> but my stories are my stories, so I'ma tell them. So yeah, after that, um, apparently I was blocked all that day. And I'm y'all, I'm, I'm hurt. Like I'm hurt, hurt. Like we talking tears type of hurt. Cause I'm like, you've been lying to me all week, telling me all of this stuff. And why am I now blocked from your phone? Like what in the world? Like you are leading me on. Something is happening that you're not telling me and you're not being a man about it and being honest. And it's ridiculous. So y'all, I'm hurt, hurt. Like a man ain't hurt my feelings in a minute, okay? It's been a minute. And y'all, let's not forget this man is fine, okay? Fine, fine, fine. Dark skin, tall, beautiful smile, white teeth, oh wait. <laughs> so, oh, sir, what is happening? What is wrong with you, okay? Because it obviously ain't nothing wrong with me because he had been telling me that all week. You're perfect, you're this, you're that, whatever the game, but anyway. So before we continue, um, we do have a cream blush. This Electric Mood Collection does have a cream face quad. And I want to use this blush here in the corner. So I'm just gonna dip a brush into that cream blush and I'm gonna start to work that onto my face to give us some color. Y'all know I've been loving the cream blush lately. In a moment, we are gonna also use this one because it is kind of like a sheer highlighter. So I wanna put that on the face as well before we set. But yeah, y'all, I was hurt. I was really hurt. Like this man had me like in my in my tears. And I'm in a very emotional person and I care about people. Um, and this is person, this is the person that I used to care about very, very deeply. And it's like, really? You know that I'm out here being honest with you. You know, I told him I was dating. He knew that about me. You know, if you're dating someone or you're with somebody, let me know. You know, like, tell me. Let me know what's going on for real, for real. I'm a grown woman. You a grown man. Put it on the table. You know, we're not being exclusive here. I get that. But we do have history. So be honest with me. And I'm using this just to add a little bit. Ooh. That kind of gives like the same vibe as this, but it has more color to it. So this can be more for like bare skin versus this one is more of like a cream liquid highlighter that can go on top of product, which you could use this on bare skin too, but I love, oh, I like that. But yeah, y'all, I didn't hear from this man until Monday and he FaceTimed me 
acting like he didn't know I was blocked. Cause I'm like, do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm stupid? Cause I'm not. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, he had this whole elaborate story of what happened and his phone broke and the girl he was talking to, he tried to break it off because he wanted to talk to me and she broke his phone and she was on some hood, <laughs> I'm trying to fight type of situation type of stuff. And I'm just like, bruh, you took all weekend, had me blocked and this what you got? <laughs> this what you got? <laughs> Here, I was like, ain't no way. Part of the story I did believe, because honestly, I wanted to believe it, but in my heart, I knew like this ain't, this man is still not telling me something because for the remainder of that week, other stuff kept happening. <laughs> um, you, He was still inconsistent. He was still not hitting me up like, you know, you would expect someone to, especially after, you know, you say, oh my God, I can't believe you're back in my life. This is my second chance. Dude even said, I prayed to God to say, if you ever came back in my life, I'm gonna do it right. You saying all this good stuff, like you're going MIA, what is going on? So at that point I knew something about that was fishy and something wasn't going right. It remained like that the rest of the week. I called him, he didn't answer, y'all. It was just a mess, okay? <laughs> Ooh, y'all, do y'all see this highlighter though? I just love the natural highlight vibe of it, you know? Y'all know I hate these days when it looks like you just pile highlighter on, especially like the powder highlight. I like when it just looks like the skin is just glistening. And that's what I'm getting with this product. I love this palette. Ooh wee. So the next part of the story is the, is the best part if you ask me, okay? And I'm just gonna add a little bit more concealer under here before I sit, just to give us a little bit more of a, you know, brighter vibe. Y'all know how I do, nothing new there. But yeah, um, the last time I spoke to this guy, I called him, he did not answer the phone, and that was that. Um, I was, and I told myself, look, I don't know if I wanna keep doing this. I don't have time for this. I'm not the woman that's going to, you know, give into some stupid stuff like this. I don't do this. I know my worth, I know what I deserve, and that is just, this ain't it, you know? See, now I done messed up my nose contour and I gotta do it again. Maya, you're just doing the most. It looks the same as it did before. <sighs> Girl. But anyway, I told myself I'm not gonna be reaching back out to him. I'm not gonna, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's not happening. The next day, you know, I'm still thinking about him. Cause you just don't, it's women or people in general. You just don't get over things like that. The next day was Saturday and I was just laying around y'all. Just kind of sad and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, I'm getting up. I'm about to take myself to the mall. I'm gonna go buy me some stuff. I'm gonna shop a little bit, um, take myself to lunch, everything. Like, that's just, that's just what I'm about to do. Cause I'm not about to be sitting up in this house in a funk, thinking about this man, whatever he's got going on. God is telling me this ain't for me. This is not the person or the time, period. I'm gonna get out the house and I'm gonna do what I need to do to make myself feel better, to bring my spirit back up, right? And we are using both of the minted powders. I'm gonna use light tan to set and then medium deep to set the rest of the face. So I got myself up, I um, put on some makeup, I got myself together, put on a cute outfit. I was minding my business. I went ahead and I had lunch. I was on my phone with my sister. We were just, you know, chatting it up. Y'all know my sister is like my best friends. We just, you know, talking about life and men and, you know, kids and just whatever, what we always talk about. I went to Cheesecake Factory by myself. Um, I sat down at the bar. I ordered me a lemon drop, I sat down. And when I got there, there was this guy who I went to high school with sitting there there, um, next to me and I was like didn't you go to my high school whatever and he was like yeah um, he was like Maya right I was like yeah what's up bro that was that but I was still on the phone with my sister now, two seats from me there was a woman um, and her husband sitting at the bar as well so I'm sitting there I'm talking to my sister you know we talking about something random at that time we weren't even talking about like this situation or anything we were just talking uh, the guy I went to high school with he's sitting there he's minding his business or whatever and out of nowhere, I hear him tell the bartender, he was like, put her food on my tab. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Cause I wasn't even sitting here talking to him. You know, we weren't even really catching up or anything, but it was just very random. Follow me y'all, keep following me. <laughs> um, after my food came and everything, I got off the phone with my sister. Me and this guy from my high school had like a quick, like two minute conversation about life, what we're up to, whatever. And that was it. And then he was like, you know, it was good to see you. Bye. <laughs> that was
was it. Like, usually if somebody pay for your stuff, they kind of expect you to be talking to them or, you know, whatever. But we weren't, it wasn't even like that, which is what made it kind of like, hmm, Lord, what are you doing? You know, and you know, he, he didn't less than everything. Like that was it. And y'all, my lips are getting dry. The e.l.f. Electric Mood Collection does have a lip balm and this is their hydrating balm. So I am gonna go ahead and put this on my lips real quick. Cause y'all know I'm always stopping during my tutorials to <laughs> get my lips together. Cause girl, ain't nobody got time for no crusty lips while I'm all in y'all face. So, and this one is super hydrating. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is cool. So I'm loving this. I think Amira would really love this too. I'm gonna go ahead in with my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty bronzer. So yeah, y'all, as I was getting up, um, the lady that was next to me, she stopped me and she asked me like, what do I do and everything? Tell, she told me she liked my shoes. I had on my new Gucci slides and she was telling me she liked my shoes. And y'all, when I tell you this woman just started to prophesy to me prophesied to me my sister actually prophesied to me about my future and my future husband and everything a few weeks ago and this woman started to say some of the exact words verbatim that my sister prophesied to me then um and when I tell y'all tears well up in my eyes she was saying all these things about you know my husband in the future and what I should expect um, and that I need to be patient, you know, and that God has me covered and all of these things. And there's some other details I'm not gonna share because it's between me and the Lord. But <laughs> in general, I was just in shock because I'm like, Jesus, what is this, this stranger? I don't know this lady. And she was just so sweet older woman in her 60s and she was just really really sweet and just giving me this word and then she went and told me she said the guy that you're messing with right now he ain't it god is telling me to tell you that he is not the one he is wasting your time he is playing around he doesn't know what he has so he's not gonna treat it right and she's saying all these things which for me was confirmation because at that point i felt like god was telling me that this is not it for you this is not it this ain't no sign this is really the devil sending you something to distract you in the place in your life where i have you um, and what you're supposed to be doing, he is distracting you. Uh, this is God saying, you be honest with yourself. You ain't been on the path I've been having you on since this man been here. You've been heartbroken. Your emotions been up and down and you ain't been focused the way you've needed to be focused. And I'm thinking to myself, Lord, you're so right about that. And here's this lady telling me this and she's just saying this this guy he's not it go ahead and hang that up no more seeing him don't let him come to your house don't be kissing don't be doing none of that that's over with god is telling me to tell you that he's out there stop worrying stop you know thinking about it you be still you be patient you do you because you ain't ready yet and you got to do some self-loving which y'all know has been my jam and my thing anyway um in order to get to the point where you need to be to accept this beautiful man of god and y'all when i tell you the tears was welling up in my face i didn't want them to drop because my i have on my full beach you know what i'm saying <laughs> but i'm like wow and um that was that y'all so um i called my sister when i went i went to h&m and i was shopping and i called my sister and told her what happened and she Said, now look at that. God and took you out of your house, out of your comfort zone. And I'm using this Alamar blush to layer on top of this other blush, y'all. But he says he took you out of your house, out of your comfort zone, took you all the way to the mall to position you to have lunch somewhere you don't barely ever go to give you this word and even paid for your meal. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, girl? He showed it. He sure did. And I have had experiences like that so many times to where God really like made it plain to me. Like, look, you gonna know this was me. I'm even gonna pay for your food. You know, in a situation where you would expect the man to want you to be all in his face and you know, whatever, and like, like you owed him time. Like it wasn't one of them situations. It was just like, oh, I got her food. What's up Maya, nice to see you, bye. <laughs> You know, that doesn't happen. 
I was like, you know what, girl, he did. I felt like he positioned me in that moment to get that information because I needed to hear that. I have been too, like, focused on this man and, you know, thinking this could be it for me and not doing what I need to be doing, sacrificing and doing other things. Like, I had my own schedule. And I've been kind of coming up with a regimen and my own, like, routine since Amira's been gone. He was taking me out of my routine. You know what I'm saying? Like... It was a distraction all the way around the board and that was the clarification for me. And I felt like that was the time that I needed to know. So I can stop stressing, so I can cut that off and also just stop wasting my time with these men, period, because I know what's promised to me and I know what's coming to me. So, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> We are gonna zoom in, um, cause I wanna do the bottom lash line real, real quick. So I told you guys that the Electric Mood Collection does have these um, eyeshadow pens or shadow, what they call shadow crayons. I'm gonna take this shade and this is in the shade Bambolina. I'm gonna put this on the inner part of my lower lash line cause it is giving kind of like purple vibes. I'm not sure how much you guys can see that, but it's just giving like a faint like purple type of vibe down there at the bottom. Then I'm gonna take the other one and this shade is in Spotlight. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corners because this is like a highlight shade. And then I am gonna go back into this deeper shade, this browning shade. And I'm gonna put that on my outer parts of my lid at the bottom. Just to kind of complete the look, but I don't want it to be that black shade because I feel like that's gonna be too, too dark. Go ahead and pop on my mascara and those eyes are done. So y'all, I low key do not wanna go in with any more highlighter. Um, I feel like the highlighter that I added, the cream one, is enough. You see how we see it? But it's like real faint. I freaking love that. So the last product in this collection is the Electric Mood by Tiana Major 9 Lip Duo. One of them is a lip liner, which I know y'all know I'm about to use. And then this one is a lip gloss in a fair. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this because we also have another lip product. And this is their sheer stick and it's kind of like a red but i am gonna go ahead and with the liner real quick which is a very beautiful deep brown liner y'all know i love that and i do kind of want to see what this lip gloss would look like with this but it's more of like a oh that's not bad i actually really love that it's given neutral enough for the look that we created today. So yeah, I would have to say I'm a fan of that. We can leave the lips like that. <laughs> but the reason that I wanted to share the story with you guys is because I wanted to remind you guys to pay attention. I feel like the things that I go through because I am open online and I share my experiences and everything, I feel like, yes, they're there to bless me and to prepare me for my future, but I also have a direct connection with thousands of women that I feel like, I want to share you know that type of stuff with so that you guys can take with it what you please we're all going through things we're all in this life living and going through these things that sometimes are unfortunate but i felt like for me this was a lesson of not allowing someone to come in and distract you from your vision and your purpose and what you're doing it can look like everything that you wanted it can look like it's meant to be it could look like all of these things but at the end of the day you got to really look at the situation and say is this for me is this making me better is this taking away from my daily life if something comes into your life and it's taking away from the path that you've been on and it takes away in a negative way i don't care how good it look that ain't it i feel like god went out of his way to make sure that i learned this lesson recently <laughs> and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So this is our finished look. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see how we are looking and then we are gonna wrap this video up. All right, my loves, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial playing in makeup and just chatting it up a bit. Thank you again to Elf Cosmetics for partnering with me on this video to show you guys the Electric Mood Collection. Don't forget there are magic links in the description box for you guys to purchase and check out this collection from Elf. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought of the products and what you thought of the story time, sis. Let's talk about it in the comments. <laughs> if you have not yet, please make sure that you hit subscribe below and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.